cowboy fans and YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you, and they're a little therapeutic, you know? We got clarity. We got a new head coach, a uh, new defensive coordinator, and slowly but surely, the pieces of our coaching staff should come into focus. Um, I'm going to take this time to name some coaches I want to keep. Uh, also, the coaches that are up. Uh, sorry about that. The offensive coaches, obviously, Jason Garrett. Uh, Kellen Moore is all the way through 2020. But uh, Gary Brown, the running backs coach, is up. Uh, Sanjay Lau is still signed through. And uh, Mark Colombo is still signed through. So most of the offense, if Jason Garrett stayed, would have still had jobs. So I would want to keep Kellen Moore as an OC because I want to see at least what he can do with an offense that isn't schemed around what Jason Garrett was doing, you know? Because he had that Air Curiel offense and uh, that offense just wasn't working. Uh, Kellen tried to scheme new stuff into the same old system, but it just wasn't gonna work because as you saw, it looked like we completely reverted back to a Scott Linehan, Jason Garrett type of offense, even though he could scheme it as far, well, as far as formations, motions, and all that. He just didn't do it for some reason on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, running backs coach, Brown, I want to keep because other than Zeke, unfortunately, he hasn't had much to work with. But with Tony Pollard, he has shown that if he gets the scheming and the play calling good, that you can get Pollard out in the open and he can be a beast. Um, I like him and Zeke as a one-two punch. Uh, remember back in the day, we had Felix Jones and Marion Barber. Those two uh, were interchanged, but it was mainly Felix Jones in the first half and Marion Barber to finish the games. And those two, if we kept that kind of running game, uh, we could have won some things, but we went to a straight Tony Romo throwing the ball type of offense for some reason they completely abandoned the run game unless we were leading uh sanjay lao the wide receivers coach i want to keep him he has done wonders with this team uh he's gotten the most out of michael gallup in a second year receiver uh we haven't had that kind of production from a receiver two years straight i don't think in quite some time uh des bryant was almost not used in his rookie season, except as punt and kick returns. Uh, Miles Austin was an afterthought. Uh, yeah, Terrence Williams was an afterthought. Uh, so, and that's recent Cowboys. It's been a real long time since we've had a number two receiver going back to back years being uh, productive uh, after a rookie season. So that is uh, Mark Colombo, the offensive line coach. I think he, he can stay because he turned that uh, offensive line around after, uh, I can't remember his name, but uh, the guy that Garrett and Linehan like, personally took in to run the offensive line, and he was talking some crap about how to get catch a bat of a, a Heinz 57, catch a bottle. If you can't do that, you can't be on the offensive line, and yet... His offensive line scheme was completely bonkers to where they just didn't care. And they admitted that they didn't want to do it. Uh, so he was out the door and Mark Colombo took over. Uh, uh, Nussmeyer, I think is his name. Doug, uh, for the tight ends. I can't really give good or bad critique on the guy because Jason Garrett came back. I mean, Jason Garrett. Jason Witten came back and is running basically the same stuff with him. So it's kind of hard to really judge him as far as uh, improving any tight ends because he didn't have a chance to develop Jarwin two years straight. He had Jarwin, Swain, Schultz, and Rico Gathers last year. 
and you saw Blake didn't show up until the last game of the year, you know, because Jeff Swain was still there. Uh, now that he's gone, Rico's gone, and uh, Schultz is pretty much non-existent. Jason Witten came back, and Jason Witten knows everything, so you weren't going to stop him from basically running things. So you can't really tell if any of the tight ends improved or got worse. So that's an incomplete. I don't know to keep him or not. Uh, that one might be a Mike McCarthy thing. Uh, we'll see. Uh, who, I think that is it for the offense. Uh, defense. Ben Bloom, the linebackers coach, and Leon Lett, the assistant D-line coach, their contracts are up as, lo as well as Chris Richard and Rod Marinelli. And obviously, if we take in Mike Nolan, Marinelli and Chris Richard are pretty much gone. Uh, they, there's somewhere that Chris Richard may return. Uh, they're looking to probably get interviews with him, but nothing has been made official as far as interviewing him again. So we just have to see. I mean, it's going to be uh, Nolan has run a 3-4 and a 4-3 defense. So it depends, you know, how comfortable he is with our player personnel. It's going to be him to, you know, come up with new stuff. Because uh, when Chris Richard came in with the Rob Marinelli Tampa 2, all we always saw was a cover one, cover three defensive back scheme. And that left a lot of zones. Uh, zone play and when we don't have aggressive players to play in those zones that's why you saw a lot of games where we just had opponents sit in the holes and wait for a pass and be wide open because it's a zone scheme and we just don't have aggressive players to keep an eye out on every zone they just sit in the pocket and wait till they hit that hole and then it's wide open from there and it really hurt us uh, we didn't have any ball hawking safeties and our corners were just say shit, <laughs> you know, and Byron Jones, they keep saying he's the best corner on the team, but only reason he's that is because they don't throw his direction when they do. Sometimes, yes, they do complete a pass uh, or get lucky that they drop it. Uh, as far as Cheetos, right, that was just horrible. <laughs> he was no good. <laughs> they constantly attacked Cheeto's side to where he had to get benched. And uh, Jordan Lewis didn't even see action until Anthony Brown went down with injury. And Anthony Brown couldn't cover a cold. So uh, we'll have to see what happens there. I'd love to see Sean Lee as linebacker's coach, but he'll probably want to keep playing somewhere. But with his injury history, I doubt that's going to be possible. Uh, Leon Lett as a defensive line coach assistant uh i don't know what he can do without rod Marinelli basically being the man so we'll have to see on that uh but i think it's going to be a complete makeover for the defense and it's well needed because i don't think we have the players or the mentality the attitude to really be a top tier defense if these guys up front aren't getting at home if they're not getting home, the linebackers are getting washed out of plays. And then your corners and safeties are just out of position most of the time. That was not good. And yet you're still preaching turnovers, turnovers, takeaways. It never really happened like talking about. And we've been harping on that for years. But the, for some reason, the Cowboys just want to neglect safety position or defensive tackle like they don't exist. And that needs to change. Uh, special teams... Everybody's got to go. When you got a kicker who you know sucks and a punter who's pretty much gone backwards over his years and regressed and your long snapper is the only consistent thing that you have and he's been around since, man, <laughs> uh, 2005, 2006, uh, it's time for a change. Uh, you got a kicker that finally did his job but the special teams unit as a whole was just horrible. Our starting offense, uh, our offensive series always started at like the 10. That's the average. When our opponent's offense is always starting like the 30 something or better. That's not how you win games. So all of them can go. Uh, training staff, they can stay. They did some pretty good work keeping these guys out on the field. Coop with all his lower leg injuries. 
still wanted to play, even though he was hurt and it showed. But he kept playing. But that's my uh, coaching analysis for right now. We'll have to see what happens with the actual, you know, Mike McCarthy decisions. We'll have to wait and see again. All right. I hope you have a good day. It's raining here. Uh, you have a good Tuesday. Good start to the new year. Thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. Hope you have a good one. Peace.